The Secret of Monkey Island was the first PC game I ever played. My best friend's big brother had it and when he went out he would sneak into his room and play it on his 486 PC. Before then my only experience in on-console computing gaming was a ZX Spectrum, so seeing Monkey Island was really a breath of fresh air. Originally released in October 1990, the game received widespread praise and is probably the most well known of the LucasArts adventure games. 2009 saw the release of the special edition which gave the game a graphical overhaul and added voice acting, but unlike a lot of their remakes, leaves the rest of the game untouched. Oh, I'm so relieved. The Secret of Monkey Island follows our hero Guybrush Threepwood as he attempts to make a name for himself as a pirate on Melee Island. Easier said than done as most of the occupants can't remember his name at all. Threepwood. Guybrush has set a series of trials by the island's pirate leaders and sets out to prove himself. Along the way, he meets a variety of interesting side characters, including Carla the Swordmaster, a prison inmate named Otis, and the prerequisite love interest, Elaine Marley, the governor of Melly Island. I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Things take a turn for the worse when the evil ghost pirate LeChuck appears and kidnaps Elaine, taking her to the legendary Monkey Island. This is where the adventure really starts as Guybrush sets off in pursuit. Through the courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. I can honestly say that Monkey Island is one of the funniest computer games I've ever played. It's probably been 15 or 20 years since I last played this game, and the humour and characters still make me laugh out loud in places. It reminds me of reading a Terry Pratchett Discworld novel, just a rich vein of humour throughout. Think of your arteries. We are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. This was my first run through with the special edition, and I had a ton of fun playing this game again. I forgot just how obscure and challenging some of the puzzles were in the game. Fortunately, there is a newly introduced hint system to help you if you get stuck, and you will. I can't reach that from here. The thing I really liked about this special edition was that they didn't try and mess with the essence of the original game. All scenes from the original game have been gloriously reproduced as hand-drawn images, and I just found it so visually appealing. You can jump back and forth between the original and the remaster at any time, and you can see just how religiously the original game was followed. The sound also adds to the experience with a remastered version of the iconic musical score and high quality voice acting which really suits the characters. I guess I could hike all the way over there once. The biggest departure from the original game is probably the control system. I played this game in the PC and most of the game only requires the left and right mouse button which intuitively gives you options for what action you might want to perform. This replaces the original game where all the possible actions were permanently displayed at the bottom of the screen. However, the full list of commands can be called up using a keyboard shortcut if you find you need them. The inventory is also hidden but can be called upon at any time using the I key. For the most part this system worked really well, the only point I found it to be a little awkward was when you maybe had to combine two items in your inventory or had to do things quickly. It got a little fiddly for me at a couple of points. The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition is a game that kept me entertained from beginning to end. If you've never played it, I would definitely recommend it, and if you've only ever played the original, definitely check out this version. There's no doubt that the original Monkey Island is a classic video game title, and this special edition does nothing to tarnish that reputation. Since this game was released, we've also seen remastered versions of Grim Fandango and Day of the Tentacle, with a remaster of Full Throttle on the way. It shows there is still a lot of love for these old LucasArts adventures. Hopefully we'll see more special editions soon. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, anyone? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a few other videos in mind, so hopefully we'll see you again.